Hello everyone, welcome to High School Mathematics channel. Today we are going to learn class 8, chapter 5, data handling, exercise 5.1. Let us see question number 1. For which of these would you use a histogram to show the data? Option A. The number of letters for different areas in a postman's bag. Option B. The height of competitors in an athletics meet. Option C. The number of cassettes produced by five companies. Option D. The number of passengers boarding trains from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. at a station. Give reasons for each. Let us see the solution. We know that histogram is a graphical representation of data if the data represented using class interval. Since here the cases B and D can be divided into class intervals, histogram can be used to show the data. Similarly, since the cases mentioned in the options A and C, they cannot be divided into class intervals. So, histogram cannot be used to represent the data. See now question number 2. The shoppers who come to a departmental store are marked as man, capital letter M, woman, capital letter W, boy, capital letter B, or girl, capital letter G. The following list gives the shoppers who came during the first hour in the morning. Here this is the information they have given. Make a frequency distribution table using tally marks. Draw a bar graph to illustrate it. We have mentioned here frequency distribution table. First column is shopper, second column is tally marks and third column is number of shoppers. In shopper we have mentioned W, M, B, G. W means woman, M means man, B for boy and G for girl. Number of shoppers, W when we count here 28 they have given. Man, they have given 15 that is M letter. Next boy, B letter they have given 5 and G letter they have given 12. Now we shall write this in tally marks. Here woman W is given 28. How to represent this in tally marks? Let us see. First you write 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Fifth line we have to use cross line. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, cross line 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, cross line 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, cross line, 25, 26, 27, 28. So, we have represented women, 28 tally marks. Next month, they have given 15. So, we shall represent, this is 5, this is 1 more 5, and this is 1 more 5. Total 5 plus 5, 10, 10 plus 5, 15. Next, boys, they have given only 5 members. So, let us represent this in tally marks, 5. Next, girls, they have given 12. Let us represent this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, this is 12 tally marks we have represented. Now, using this table, we have to find the bar graph. Now, let us draw bar graph here. On x-axis, we have taken woman, man, boy, girl. So, these are shoppers names. On y-axis, we have taken number of shoppers starting from 0 onwards here we have taken 1 centimeter equals to 2 units so 2 onwards 2 4 6 8 10 so on up to 30 we have taken on y axis women they have given as 28 now we have to show this on the bar graph where is 28 here so let us mark now from women on x axis onwards we should draw line so here also we shall draw another line and mark it. So women how many they have given? 28. Let us shade this by using cross lines. Next man they have given as 15. 15 is in between 14 and 16. So from man we mark here 15 value. Now we shall draw the bar.
Next, boy, they have given as 5. 5 is in between 4 and 6. So, from boy, we shall mark here 5. And we shall draw the bar. Girl, they have given as 12. Where is 12 here on y axis here? Mark here 12. So from x axis we, we have marked here 12. Now we shall draw the bar. Now we shall shade this. Now we have drawn the bar graph for the given frequency distribution table. See now question number 3. The weekly wages in rupees they have given of 30 workers in a factory are. So this is the weekly wages of 30 workers they have given in this way. Using tally marks make a frequency table with intervals as 800 to 810, 810 to 820 and so on. Let us see the solution. So this is the frequency table we have taken. Having columns, class intervals, tally marks and frequency. Here they ask us to take class intervals as 800 to 810, 810 to 820 and so on up to 890 to 900. We have taken here. If we observe from the given wages, we have to take this group. If you take 800 to 810 group, we have to take only the values of 800 to 809. Why? Because here both values they have given. See, repetition is coming here. 810, 820, 830. So, in the first group, we have to take up to 809. Only one less than this value. Here, 810 to 819 we should take. Here, 820 onwards, 829 we should take. Similarly, all these class intervals, we have to take values in this way only. Now, class interval 800 to 810, how many persons having wages we have to count. Now, let us see here 800 to 810. So, what range we should take from 800 to up to 809 we should take. Let us see how many values for present here. See here, 810 is there, we should not take this. Less than this value we should mark here. So, where we are having these values means... 804, 808, 806. Total, how many were there here? 3. So, we have marked here tally marks 3. Next range is 810 to 820. But we will take up to 819 only. So, second we shall check here 810 to 819 range where it is. So, 810 is there. 1. Next one is 812. So, how many we are having here? Only 2 were present. So, we represent here tally marks 2. Similarly, we have to take remaining class intervals. So, I have already drawn here tally marks for all these groups in this way. Now, we shall write the frequency. Let us count these tally marks now. Here, first one, how many? 3. So, write down here answer. 3. Next one 2. Here 1. Count here how many? This is 5 and here 4. So 5 plus 4 9. Here how many? 5. Next 850 to 860 group how many? 1. Next group 3. Next group 1. Next group 1 and the last one here only 4. Now we must count all these frequency values so that we should get here answer 30. Let us count now 3 plus 2 5. 5 plus 1, 6, 6 plus 9, 15, 15 plus 5, 20, 20 plus 1, 21, 21 plus 3, 24, 24 plus 1, 25, 25 plus 1, 26, 26 plus 4, 30. So total here we got 30. So these are the wages of different workers. So we have represented this in the form of frequency distribution table. See now question number 4. Draw a histogram for the frequency table made for the data in question 3 
and answer the following questions so this is the table of question number 3 by using this we need to answer the questions now let us see question 1 see now question number 1 which group has the maximum number of workers observe this frequency distribution table which group is having maximum number so here highest value is 9 so which group it is 830 to 840 so our answer is 830 to 840 group has the maximum number of workers see now question number 2 how many workers earn 850 rupees and more now let us see the frequency distribution table see here 850 rupees range above how many workers were there so 850 above means here onwards count how many workers were present 1 plus 3 4 4 plus 1 5 5 plus 1 6 6 plus 4 10 so how many workers were earning more than 850 rupees that is 10 workers so the solution is here 10 workers now let us see question number 3 how many workers earn less than 850 rupees now let us see the frequency distribution table here our question is how many workers earning less than 850 so less than 850 means up to here we have to check so how many workers there we shall count now 3 plus 2 5 5 plus 1 6 6 plus 9 15 15 plus 5 20 total 20 workers were earning less than 850 rupees wages so our third solution is 20 workers are earning less than 850 rupees see now question number 5 the number of hours for which students of a particular class watch television during holidays is shown through the given graph here they have given graph by using that we need to answer the below questions here in the graph on x axis they have given hours of tv watched per day on y axis they have given number of students now let us see question number one for how many hours did the maximum number of students watch tv if we observe this graph here maximum number is 32 now let us see the solution here 32 students watch tv for 4 to 5 hours that is the maximum number of students who watch a tv for 4 to 5 hours is 32 students now let us see question number 2 how many students watch a tv for less than 4 hours the number of students who watch less than 4 hours if you observe the bar graph here is the value so number of students who watch tv for less than 4 hours is first 4 hours next 8 hours next 22 hours so first 3 bars if you observe these are the values so its total is 34 students therefore 34 students have watched tv for less than 4 hours now let us see third question how many students spent more than 5 hours in watching tv 8 plus 6 that is 14 students have watched tv more than 5 hours today we have seen class 8 chapter 5 data handling exercise 5.1 all sums hope you like this video if you like this video please like share to your friends and subscribe to our channel thank you for watching